Okay, I, I take it we're on. Alright. Um Yeah, for the for the guys on the, the Honda Shadow uh forum, there's a front brake caliper on my uh my Honda Shadow Aero seven fifty from two thousand seven. Um wanna show you how to take it off. Um if you're kinda wondering like I am. I got twenty four thousand miles on the bike. I wanna see what it's like, you know. Um, very, very few bolts right there. 12 millimeter socket. Um, what you need first, uh, get the little adapter, undo the brake line from the little holder thingamajig right there. That's an 8 millimeter socket. So, real quick, real quick, you go like this. Undo this um, from the brake line, a little brake line housing. There we go. Okay, and now you see, there you go, the brake line is free from the holder. Now, let's do this. I already loosened these off, but undo your two bolts right here. A little here and a little there. And just undo them by your fingers. Um, and like I said, I got 12, 000, or 24,000 miles on the bike, so let's see what we got for brake pads, you know. Um, and that's all. There we go. That's all it is. There. And the caliper just slides right off the brake rotor. Like that. Slides right off, comes right down. There it is. Okay. Now, zoom in, honey. Look at that. I'm not even down to the, the wear markers. That's the inside of the brake rotor, and there's my two brake pads. 24,000 miles. I'm, you know, I must slow down and use my transmission to downshift a lot. But that's amazing. But anyway, what you would do is... You know, go to the Honda place or motorcycle superstore or bike bandit and order some new brake pads and pop them in. Compress your two pistons down and put the new brake pads in. But yeah, they still look good. This is amazing. Oh, and the dog has to, the dog has to get her two cents in. So anyway, you would just slide it back onto the caliper or back, slide it back onto the rotor and uh, bolt it back on. And that's it. There we go. There we go. There we go.